Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, design of turbo alternator. Currently, you know that uh, we are running a series of video lecture on design of synchronous machine. In previous lectures, we have studied stator as well as rotor design for salient type of uh, construction for synchronous alternator. Now we have started designing of turbo alternator. In previous lecture, we have studied about uh, rotor design or rotor winding design for a smooth cylindrical type of rotor construction. In case of a salient pole as well as in case of a smooth cylindrical type of rotor, so it is either hydro alternator or turbo alternator, stator design almost remains same, similar with slight changes. So in previous lecture we have studied about a rotor design for a smooth cylindrical type of rotor. So in this video lecture we will study about a slight change in stator design that is main dimension and then we will study about how to estimate length of the air gap. So as I said in case of design alternator a turbo alternator speed is very high so peripheral speed is uh, comparatively very high compared to our hydro alternator or salient pole type of uh, rotor construction so peripheral speed is a limiting factor to decide the main dimension so basically uh, that is our diameter so in case of peripheral speed we know that uh, peripheral speed va that is equal to pi d and ns and from this equation, based on the constraint or the limitation of the peripheral speed, we can easily able to calculate the maximum permissible diameter. So D, that is VA, that is peripheral speed divided by pi NS, where NS, that is speed in revolution per second. So this way we can easily estimate our uh, diameter and uh, based on this diameter if we substitute this value into output equation then a length of the stator core can be easily uh, estimated or calculated. So now let us go to the output equation. So output equation that is normally in KVA and Q we know that it is a CO multiplied by D square L and multiplied by ns d and l that is the main dimension d is the diameter of the stator bore as well as l that is length of stator core and ns that we have just seen that ns is a speed in revolution per second and uh, co that is output coefficient and co can be uh, mentioned as a uh, 1.11 multiplied by pi square multiplied by bav multiplied by AC, multiplied by KW and multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 where BAV that is specific magnetic loading, AC that is specific electric loading and KW that is a winding factor for the stator. These are the very known parameters so we will not go in more detail in this uh, video lecture. So if we substitute uh, value of diameter in terms of peripheral speed and if we modify our output equation then our output equation can be written as so we have substituted the value of co that is 1.11 pi square bav sc kw and multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 we have substituted value of d as a va divided by pi ns so VA that is our peripheral speed. So L that is the length of the stator core. And now if we simplify the equation then output equation becomes 1.11 BAV AC KW multiplied by VA square and divided by NS that is synchronous speed multiplied by L and multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3. So all the quantities are non-quantities and if we substitute all the values then 
length of the stator core can be easily estimated from this equation. Uh, peripheral speed as we discussed earlier that, that, that is a limiting factor to uh, decide our main dimension. So once we find the diameter then accordingly we can able to calculate our length. For conventionally cooled machine we normally select specific magnetic loading between a range of 0.54 to 0.65 Weber per meter square and uh, ampere conductor or specific electric loading we choose in the range of 50,000 to 75,000 ampere conductor per meter but for a larger machine or water cooled a larger machine the values near I mean there is not uh, much change in specific uh, magnetic loading that is 0.54 to 0.65 Weber per meter square but in case of a uh, specific electric loading very high values of the specific electric loading can be chosen and that is approximately uh, near about 1 lakh 80,000 to 2 lakhs ampere conductor per meter so we know the uh, possibility of uh, higher values of uh, either specific electric loading or specific magnetic loading and what are the advantages of uh, selecting higher values so this way we can design our main dimension and then as I said that we will be discussing uh, how to estimate the length of air gap. So let us uh, now find uh, length of air gap. Length of air gap uh, we have one relationship that is LG by tau. Tau is a, a pole pitch. So normally it can be taken as a, this ratio can be taken as a 0.02 to 0.025 and based on this ratio we can easily estimate our uh, length of air gap but now we have another possibility uh, we know the equation lg length of the air gap so we let us find out another possibility and uh, how we can uh, estimate very accurately our length of the air gap in case of uh, magnetomotive force for the air gap we have one equation and that is very known to us that is 8 multiplied by 10 raised to 5 LG multiplied by BG multiplied by KG where LG that is the length of the air gap BG that is a air gap maximum flux density and KG that is gap contraction factor we have another equation for magnetomotive force for the air gap and uh, we can approximately take 80% of the no load filled MMF Magnetomotive force required for the air gap can be taken as 80% of the no load filled magnetomotive force and no load magnetomotive force for the field can be estimated this we have discussed in our previous lecture also and that is a SCR multiplied by ATA where SCR that is a short circuit ratio and ATA that is ampere tons or magnetomotive force for the armature. So ATA can be calculated with this equation that is AC that is ampere conductor or specific electric loading AC tau, tau is our pole pitch and AC tau by 2. So this way we can able to calculate our uh, magnetomotive force for the armature. Then SCR that is short circuit ratio and uh, we can choose a ratio between 0.5 to 0.7 in BG that is a gap flux density that is equal to a BAV divided by KF where BAV is specific magnetic loading and KF that is field form factor so most of the values uh, we can choose or we have already and then we can easily able to calculate uh, all the values so now we have two equations for magnetomotive force for the air gap. So if we compare both the equation for magnetomotive force then it becomes uh, that 8 multiplied by 10 raised to 5 multiplied by LG multiplied by BG and multiplied by KG and that is exactly equal to 0.8 ampere tons for the field. So now we are comparing both the equation and now if we are uh, go on substituting the values 
so first we have substituted value of uh, ampere tons for the field now it is substituted with the scr multiplied by ampere tons for the armature so now equation has become 8 multiplied by 10 raised to 5 multiplied by lg multiplied by bg multiplied by kg and that is equal to 0.8 multiplied by scr multiplied by now ampere tons for the armature so again if we substitute value of ampere ton for the armature by ac top by 2 then our equation becomes uh, like uh, scr multiplied by ac multiplied by top by 2 so based on this equation now we can easily able to calculate the length of the air gap and that is lg and the equation becomes 0.8 multiplied by scr multiplied by ac 2 by 2 and divided by 8 multiplied by 10 to 5 multiplied by kg multiplied by vg if we simplify the equation further then it becomes lg is equal to 0.5 multiplied by scr multiplied by ac multiplied by tau divided by 10 to 6 multiplied by kg and multiplied by bg if we further simplify then our equation becomes 0.5 multiplied by scr multiplied by ac multiplied by tau multiplied by 10 to minus 6 and divided by kg and now value of bg might not be available so we have substituted value for bg that is bav that is specific magnetic loading and divided by uh, field form factor that is kf so ultimately the equation for the length of air gap that is uh, 0.5 multiplied by scr multiplied by ac multiplied by tau multiplied by kf multiplied by 10 to minus 6 and divided by kg and bav that is specific magnetic loading so all the values are known and from these values what we have to do is we have to select appropriate value of the scr and accordingly we can able to estimate uh, the best possible value of uh, length of air gap so this way we can do uh, with slight change uh, we can uh, do the designing work for the turbo alternator so i stop here thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much